Hold up. Hydrogen water? Isn't hydrogen already in water? It must be a hoax. Well, the answer to this popular misconception can be answered in our last video on understanding hydrogen water. But we are going to discuss five more misconceptions about hydrogen water on this episode of H2 Minutes. Before we get into the misconceptions, you may want to click the card to learn more about the different forms of hydrogen. We are going to be talking a lot about that in this video, and I wouldn't want you to be confused. One of the most common responses I've heard when people hear about hydrogen water is not to drink it, because adding hydrogen to water would make hydrogen peroxide. So let's see, a water molecule looks like this, with two hydrogens and one oxygen. And hydrogen peroxide looks like this, with two hydrogens and two oxygens. The obvious reason why this misconception is faulty is because hydrogen peroxide has an extra oxygen, not hydrogen. Another reason is that it is assuming that the hydrogen gas in the water is bonding to water or any other molecule. It is virtually impossible for H2 to bond water molecules under normal conditions. H2 is neutral and stable, therefore it does not need to bond with anything else in the water either. Besides that, molecules that are added to water don't just randomly bond with water to form some new molecule or element. For example, when salt or sugar is added to water, it doesn't form some new novel molecule, but the salt or sugar is dissolved into the water. This is similar to how adding hydrogen gas to water works. Molecular hydrogen and hydrogen peroxide are two completely different chemical species. Man, isn't science crazy? Just adding one or more atoms can completely change how something works. Another misconception that I hear often is adding hydrogen to water will make H3O. Well, at least it's actually hydrogen added this time. Well, H3O plus is an actual molecule, and it looks like this. And it's actually called hydronium. Hydronium is the acidic component of water. Hydronium naturally exists in water and is produced on the anode, or positive side of electrolysis, which is actually where oxygen gas is produced as well. Hydrogen gas is produced on the cathode, or the negative side along with hydroxide, which is the alkaline component of water. Click the card to watch our video on the pH of water. This also goes back to the point that when you're producing hydrogen water, you are not bonding hydrogen gas to the water molecules. Don't worry if you are confused. We will do an electrolysis video soon to break down how all of this works. This misconception leads me to the next misconception, that hydrogen in the water will affect the pH of the water. Now, it is true that the hydrogen ion concentration, or H+, dictates pH, but that is not what's happening here. When we are talking about hydrogen water, we're talking about H2 or hydrogen gas. H2 is a neutral molecule, and it does not change the concentration of H+, in the water. So when it is infused into water, the pH does not change. Now, I think that the confusion comes from the fact that sometimes hydrogen water can also have an alkaline pH. Sometimes the process which produces H2 has a byproduct of hydroxide, which will drive the pH up. Now, always remember, it is not H2 itself that causes this to happen, but it is the means of producing H2 that causes it to happen. The next misconception is that you can taste hydrogen in the water. H2 is a tasteless, odorless, and invisible gas. Just like with pH, if you are drinking hydrogen water with a different taste, the reason is because of what's in the water or how it was made. For example, if you're drinking hydrogen water made with elemental magnesium, you may be able to taste the magnesium. Using elemental magnesium to produce hydrogen water can also raise the pH of the water, similar to ionizers. A higher pH can also affect the taste. Well, it actually doesn't make the taste literally change, but the higher hydroxide levels can influence certain cells in your mouth, making it appear to have a funky taste. Taste also depends on what's in the water or how good of a filter you have. With all the things in our tap water, it could be anything making it taste different. The presence of minerals can also make it taste one way as opposed to the taste of water with little to no mineral. So there are many factors in the taste of your hydrogen water, but whatever it is you're tasting is not the hydrogen. Finally, a misconception I hear often is hydrogen water is flammable. Okay, so yeah, hydrogen gas is flammable above 4%. So I see where you're coming from. But hydrogen is not flammable when it's dissolved into water. This concept is similar to gunpowder. Gunpowder is combustible, but not when it's dissolved into water. 
Now you may have seen people holding a lighter at the end of an ionizer spout to show the popping or crackling of the hydrogen gas coming out with the water. This is undissolved hydrogen gas that is escaping as soon as the water leaves the spout. This is not representative of the dissolved hydrogen gas content. So there it is, my top five misconceptions about hydrogen water. Did I answer your questions or skepticism? Let me know if I miss anything or if you have any more questions about hydrogen water that I have not answered. I would love to get enough new questions to make a part two for this video. Until then, that's your dose of H2 in two minutes. Support us on Patreon and gain access to exclusive behind the scenes material, sneak peeks, and more in-depth references. Go to this site to become a patron.